What's good, everybody? Back at another edition of the member cast. I got my boy Darren Simmons on here, who's had some great results currently and been on the app and is super active on the app and had some trials and tribulations, has shared it with the community and has bounced back. And this man right here is continuing on a process to be the best version of himself. He is looking lean and mean and he's here today to share some of his story. Darren, what's up, dude? Not much. Corey, I'm just going to correct you for one sec. It's Simon's, but everyone screws on my life. Oh, <laughs> damn. That's all right. I messed up Danny's name, too. That's why I had him. But yours, I should have Yours, I should have been able to fucking announce right. Darren Simons, welcome to the show. What's go. up, dude? There you go. Not much, man. Really excited to uh, get this opportunity, for sure. Yeah, bro. I'm excited about having you on here. I mean, the reality is... This has been awesome uh, to be able to talk to, you know, the first four or five guests. And I think that it's only contributing to the community to help people that are seeing others that have had great success with the program. So I appreciate um, having uh, everyone on to be able to share kind of their path on how they've got here. And you, uh, I'd like to really start all the way back, Darren Simons, all the way back. Like, how did you hear about, uh, whether it's myself or Max effort or whatnot, like, how'd you get into this, uh, into the fold? It's a, hopefully I can make it a short story. So my fitness journey, you know, dates back all the way to like, you know, playing high school ball into Juco level. And then, um, you know, coming out of, you know, uh, that time in college sports, that was like circa 2000, parents got divorced and stuff. So really a hard time in my life. Um, and then I discovered I need to get back into shape. Like I'm really out of shape. And so that was the time, like when beach body, like P90X and like no. all that stuff was like kind of hot. And I got introduced to, I think I showed you a bottle. Like one day I found my old uh, bat, my gym bag of like shred matrix was in there. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so you're like, don't take that. <laughs> and so, um, uh, I, I started with you with muscle farm and then, um, years later, uh, lifting with my buddy, he introduced me to you. This is probably, wasn't it like, uh, was it, um, I'm blanking on, on, on the, the name of the program G it's uh squat every day. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. So we were, he introduced me to that and I got in your app. I, I don't know when, I think I, I actually, I think it was around like 2016. Yeah, so you're um, pretty early. You're pretty early on the app then, Darren, because it started late 15. Yeah, so it was 2016, and then the way that my mind works, if if I don't think back then I was not all in, and um, I was doing you know AF for a little bit. Uh, I saw some minor results, but again, those pillars were not established at that time. And then I got introduced to CrossFit. I wanted to try something different, and that camaraderie and that team building. Yeah. The only problem with CrossFit is that what they don't tell you is like those athletes that you see, that's not the expectation you're going to get when you go to a local box, at least in my opinion. Well, uh, they're also not only training once a day. <laughs> right, right, right. A hundred percent. And so that yeah. was my misconception on CrossFit. And then, so a couple of years ago, no, yeah, two years ago when I rejoined, um, I never stopped <laughs> paying my membership because I was, you know, it, I, I was like always a part of it, but I never mm -hmm. like... I, activated that, uh, that level that I wanted to be at. And so my buddy was like, Hey, G does this contest every year. You should totally do it. And so last year was the first year that I, I, I was just super dialed in. I don't know if you remember, but I, G social, I think just started. And I was just like, Oh, I want to do, you know, 200 meters. And then the next month I'll do 400. And then the, the last month I'll do 800. And everyone's like, no, just jump right into 800. I'm like, I'll, you know, fuck it. I'll just get, go all in. And so yeah. I just, I went all in like after that first week and I never looked back. And today was the year and 150 days, uh, lunging every day. So <laughs> what's your current weight, Darren? Um, I'm sitting at 236 today. Um, the lowest I got was for the contest at 228. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I was like, I need to give myself some grace in between after that contest. Uh, and so I was like not being fully established. And then I went back to doing busy diet. I was so glad you all talked about eating vegetables on busy diet on the mini cast yesterday. Yeah. Uh, cool experimentation. Cause I've been kind of wondering that myself. Um, so, but um, I think like kind of what Cole says all the time, uh, you know, sweet potato just kind of stick to me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And for my weight, it's, uh, it's just, I'm tired of like going up and down. I just want to kind of get that scale to go in that right direction that I wanted to go. And so I get more lean. 
Um, and so I just love AF101. It's just always yeah. has worked for me. Um, uh, I, I, y'all are going to hate me when I say that I can't do avocado. I have tried so many times. <laughs> And I think That's I psyched right. myself out till I get I, I last week I or I went to my uh, it was a, with mother no Mother's Day wasn't last week uh, maybe it was I don't remember um, mm-hmm. but yeah I went to a par- party and they were serving guacamole and my stomach just turned I'm like I can't do this so what do you use as your main fat then Darren uh, sunflower kernels oh yeah do those those are awesome though. And that, that was a, that was a great find a few years ago, honestly, because I use those primarily for a couple diet phases and they were, they're hugely helpful. So yeah, no, I think, I don't think you can go wrong either way. I think there's just a lot of great benefits from avocados in general, but, um, yeah, I don't, at the end of the day, what you're just explaining is that you're figuring it out within the guidelines and that is the biggest key. What's the top weight that you ever got to? Like, what was your worst, Darren? So, it wasn't during the, like the start of the contest. This is like yeah. when I graduated college, I was sitting around three twenty. Yeah, and I, that I was two thousand. You were over three hundred at one point. I definitely was, and it, it yeah. was so. Looking at those pictures, I'm like, "Who is that guy?" How tall are yeah. you, dude? I'm six foot. Okay, no kidding. And so right now, you said you're at two thirty. Two thirty six. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, man. I honestly, Darren, I think you look like. You're obviously sitting down, but I, I'm a I'm a pretty good uh, trained eye. Like you look pretty lean, dude. Like I mean, I think that you've I, obviously I saw your picture that you submitted. Right, you changed a lot during the contest, but your makeup in general, from all the training, from all the lunging, like you are a even at two thirty, and obviously you're continuing to get lighter. Like you look dramatically different, and as you sit here right now, look like a very healthy guy. So that 320, whatever dude, that dude's gone. Right. Yeah. 100%. And so I want to, I want to commend you on that, bro. That's, that's huge. Like you Thank just you. done saved about 10 years on your life. Real talk. Yeah. I mean, you know, my story, I have, I have an eight year old. We, we unfortunately lost our son at 32 weeks uh, this past year, which was really hard. But like, I felt like that in that moment, I, like I, like I told my story uh, to my mm-hmm. answer for the submission, if I would have stopped because of that instance, Nobody would have that, questioned it, bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I, I wanted to make sure that if I can get through that, I can get through anything, right? So, Facts. and I mean, I was lunching in the hospital next to my bed, to my wife. I remember. To, to my wife's bed, you know? And uh, yeah, I mean, I just, that, you and the community really helped me through that dark time. And I, that, I'm I not know. saying that lightly, you know, you guys really, like all the dogs and you and everyone who reached out, that doesn't go unnoticed. Like that's yeah, a big yeah. part of my life. So. No, it's, well, that's honestly real talk. Like that's part of a major reason why we wanted to do the thing with G social and look, social media can be really positive, but it also can be really negative. And you just know on the app, what you're going to get. And if somebody yeah. does anything else, I'll just kick them the fuck off. Yeah. So it's like, you know sure. what I mean? So I think that, you know, um, this, that was a really good thing to lean on, which was your habits, the positive part, the things you could control, you know, having people that you know that are paying attention to what you got going on on a regular basis that were reaching out. Like, that's where I think um, kind of the next evolution and growth of what we got going on will continue to even bring, you know, more like-minded people together, which is what we're attempting to do that are living this healthy lifestyle and want more for themselves. And I think that that's another reason why I wanted to do the members cast too. So people can see, listen, people know it's my job and I'm nuts if you just even look at what I got going on for a short period of time. So sometimes it can just go, you know, it's just what it is. But when there's more and more and you see different body types, different professions, different stories of people having though at the end, the same story, which is more confident, better lifestyle, more healthy. Like that's what we're trying to accomplish here. So I think that you embody a lot of those things, Darren. And there's, and I think honestly, you're, consistency on the app has been huge too, because that's the level it's going to take to, and, and to, especially if you're training by yourself, which a lot of people are, you got, you know, family, you got stuff going, everyone does. And so you're leaning on it. I believe the right amount. And a lot of the people that we've had on here so far have been doing the same thing. And that's what I want more people to do. You know what I mean? So it's like, it has to be positive. It, there's times and places for the things that like you shared and didn't share. But the reality is, I think that that's really what we're building here is a real like-minded community that can lean on each other and, and celebrate each other's, um, you know, like wins too, which is awesome. So hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, uh, doing, you coming out with the pump thirties have like totally 
saved so much time in my life, you know, just, yeah. and it's not even like just getting up early for, for, to do a workout, but like now I have more time to myself to, to do what I need to do. Um, and bro, I'm telling you like people who want to sleep on those pump 30 workouts don't like, I know I did like, five of them in one day about <laughs> killing me <laughs> oh, for men's health. <laughs> I'm I mean, like, I wrote these fucking crazy things. They weren't meant yeah, to yeah. do five in a day. I'll tell you that. For sure. For sure. I mean, but here's, today, here's what I, say, I want to say around the pump 30. I like yeah. that feedback because what was hard for me a little bit, partly because of the crazy part, was yeah. I needed to find a way where I could meet the customer slash, you know, uh, person on the app uh, that needs the pump 30 but they know that it would be difficult enough to still accomplish what, so the body can change in that period of time. That's still fun, still unique. So I really kind of challenge myself like, all right, gee, somebody either doesn't have time for the get stacked or just isn't going to train for that long. It's just what it is. How can, with your ability, you still keep um, it fun, unique, different, and difficult enough to get the results that you could get over here. And that's kind of what I came up with. And so the feedback has been really, really good. And it does mimic some of my old workouts, although the old Twitter workouts were at least an hour long, but this, this is like somewhere in between the two. And so it's really, uh, made for a lifestyle, which I think you're, you're being able to take part in right now, which, you know, lends more time for the person to work on themselves or whatever they need to do, which is, what we want. You can do really pump 30 lunges and you're, you're out and yeah. out. I yeah. mean, real talk. 100%. So, 100%. so you've, um, you've had good, so you've had good results literally following that pattern. Well, when, when did you launch pump 30? Like it was like the beginning of the contest, right? Like around yeah. the beginning of the contest. I think we so started, Dan, Danny, when did we start doing a pump thirties, it was at end of last year. Yeah. Danny will look it up. He's right across the room, but yeah, it hasn't been super long though. Yeah. I mean, I started doing, actually, no, I think it was last year because I did pump 30 for the entire contest. So, I mean, not that I don't like get stacked for me, you know, obviously the, the time thing, but when we start adding in bands, like my rack is not, <laughs> I, I get a little, uh, it's, it's not that it's dicey, but like it's yeah. kind of makeshift when I need to add bands. And so I don't feel comfortable doing that stuff. Um, and yeah. I think that's where like having like a gym bro nearby is totally, I wish I had that, but I have a garage gym. And so, yeah. So I need someone in my neighborhood who wants to work, work out with me and, and we'll come. So I think I'm more for the garage lifter anyway, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It seems like the dudes that are banging in their garage like that is like the guys that really fuck with the way that we operate anyway. So to me that, um, it just, it really is just, um, a good ad adaptation to what's happening out here and what people need. And I think that we're seeing that, you know, we're right on it with that. So yeah, I appreciate you kind of mentioning that. Um, talk to me about your favorite thing to train, things you look forward to, maybe what the lunge and learn has done for you. Like, give me, give me some, give me some sound bites there, Darren. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I found a new love fa uh, for uh, lifting, for doing like back workouts, um, mm -hmm. because I, I posted a while ago. I got my first like one rep pull up and like that's a big accomplishment for me because i yeah. never do pull ups you know and so um i actually try to do one rep every day do a negative so i can keep building that strength um just to you know again compound stuff over time um and so i love training back i mean i love training everything but i think i've found a new love for training back um that's that's good because that'll keep your shoulders right bro <laughs> so yeah and um lunge and, lunge and learn for for sure all the financial stuff uh, a big gold mine was to pay off all my debt i think i had um going into this year just from bad bad moves on my behalf with credit cards probably like 20k in debt all paid off. yeah so oh wow that's congratulations Aaron. that's great thank you so well, hey we've all done that before by the way <laughs> <laughs> So not just, uh, not just you, bro. But I mean, think having, <laughs> did you do like the Dave Ramsey approach? Um, yes. Um, I also, uh, talked to my, so I work for a company called Salesforce. You've probably heard of yeah. them. Um, and they provide us with a free financial advisor. So nice. I wanted to take advantage of that. And she talked me off a ledge many times of like, Oh, I'm going to put in my savings. You no, know, why would you do that? You're just going to have that debt regardless. So just pay that money that you have off with yep. towards your debt. And so that's what I did. I didn't look back. And so now I feel way better. You nice. know, when you, yeah. So. Dude, that's mad. So that's the thing is like now during that process, 
were you starting to study some of the financial stuff while you were lunging? Like how did that all kind of, or what do you primarily listen to when you lunge? Like what, what's been kind of your vibe on from that aspect? When I, mainly when I lunge, I, I love the, the, the Goggin stuff or mm-hmm. right. That's, uh, I, I can listen to your book over and over again, just to hear you talk. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the financial stuff is a little harder for me to grasp. I tried listening to Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And yep. for me, it's like, I feel like I need to sit down and listen and write notes because if I'm, yeah. If I'm lunging, I'm, it, it doesn't really comprehend all that information. And so I perform more motivational stuff when I'm lunging or just yeah. a mean like logic rap track. I just love logic. So, um, yeah. But That's good. Yeah. Well, first off, that's if you, you're down on the debt and you're down on weight and you're up on confidence and then on top of it, like there's – you're less anxious when you ain't got a bunch of – bad deck going on, bro. It's just what it is. Right. Cause you don't you feel like you're not getting anywhere. And I had to like, cause of where, how I grew up, like, you know what I'm saying? Not with very much. And I think understanding debt in business versus like, like you're saying like quote unquote bad debt. I used to kind of lump it all together. I've done a better yeah. job as I gotten older as a business person to kind of like put them in different pockets or not even have the one pocket at all. And it's only over here for towards building stuff or properties or whatever it is. But it takes a little while, man, to understand that. And yeah, I'm still learning stuff. Even as of last week, I learned some things that I thought I already knew, but I didn't. It's like a constant evolution. If you're not being taught, which most aren't, unless you come from money, it takes some time to uncover a lot of this stuff, bro. But now you know totally. it. So that that's that's a that's a really good thing because when you kind of match the health and wealth stuff together, you're pretty unstoppable, I think, Darren. Well, I think if you haven't thought about it already, when you ever whenever Muscle Island's available and you're going to have like people come out there, some ideas that I just thought of today was I can't remember your your financial guy's name. Is it Joe or John yeah. or? Joe Johnson, maybe like financial seminars through max effort. Like I would totally vibe with that. Like I want to get smarter, like financial literacy or illiteracy is a huge thing today in America. You know, like I want to make sure my family set up just like your family. You talk about your head, your family set up. And I feel like I'm I'm so far away from that. I'm closer, but I'm still far away from my goals in order to get us in a better position. That's a, that's a, like, first off, that's a great idea because we are working on strength conference an entrepreneurial one, but having a financial one would be, it's a, it's a great idea because in the new subscription model, we're working on in-person events. That'll be part of the whole like infrastructure of like just the lifestyle. I mean, results, lifestyle experience that that's what we're building. And so that, is actually a really good idea because if we had a whole financial one, I think that'd be pretty fucking sick. Well, just take my money now, G. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, hey, hopefully it'll just come along with you already what you're spending. That's the plan. Sure, you know what I mean? Because sure, sure. we're trying yeah, to yeah. get it to where guys that are guys and gals already supporting the process that we're having more resources for that exact thing that you said. Because if we can truly help impact people at the level that I know I have had in the past and we can take it even one notch bigger with kind of what we're doing now. I think that, you know, um, it would all work out in everybody's benefit. Right. So that's the kind of stuff that we've been working on behind the scenes really for a while now that's getting ready to kind of come out. Muscle Island is definitely part of that because it's an experience that cannot be really ripped off potentially. Right. Cause it's gonna be hard. Um, but then that everybody could look forward to coming to events there or at the gym or whatnot. So we're working on all that stuff. So, you know, that's actually a, a really good idea. Um, tell me about what's your favorite one or two products or flavors from Max Effort. Um, yeah, that's easy. I mean, all the products are great as everyone knows on the app. Uh, I, I hands down love Arnie Palmy. Definitely my go-to. I mean, the second person that said that the Arnold it's Palmy, so good. I keep mean, it in stock. <laughs> so, so even my, my wife, uh, love her. She, when we drive, I'll have my aminos with me or whatever. And she's like, I'm so thirsty. I'm like, it, it's my aminos. She's like, all right, whatever. And she drank it. She's like, oh my God, this is really good. So it is really like, good. Yeah. So um, it's aminos. And I, I, I usually mess with um, my pre workout. I don't care, sour gummy or watermelon. They're all good. You yeah. know, so sour gummy is the jam. That seems to be the one everyone always will. Like, if that's the only one in stock, no one cares. <laughs> they love that flavor. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, I'll also compliment dad hats and uh, comfort color shirts. Sorry, just shout out Cole, dad hats, oh. comfort colors. I'll let him know. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Yes. The um, 
Talk about uh, what was one of you said that your you know your buddy kind of exposed you to the content back in the MP days, yeah. And then you came in the contest. What then made you actually tie in all the pillars, Darren? Like, was it you? Was it this like you personally just saying, okay, I'm in for the contest. I'm really gonna try what this dude actually says, like all the way. Because like a lot of people just don't do that, which is clearly why we're having some of these conversations so people can hear. Wait. Every person that Corey's interviewed references the pillars and just following them. <laughs> so it's like, what then made you take that? Like, okay, I'm going to do it all the way in. I'm going to be a con full contributing kind of member of this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't want to say bullying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's cool. But, I'm fine with but, that. Uh, no, no. But like, you know, when people on the app are just like, just, you got to go all in. You just can't like, sugarcoat things you can't mix and match like for a long time like i mixed and match recipes that just you can't do that you either have to either you do that or you have to find that vice where it's like okay i'm gonna do af and i'm gonna do these workouts and that's what that's what works why yep. break that that wheel or why try to reinvent the wheel if it doesn't need to be reinvented right so you already laid out the groundwork you always say we're our own test experiment you have yes. to go through that in order to understand yes. how to make your body change i'm still learning like we all are yes. we um are. dude including know. every year i get older it changes even mildly from time to time it's well, just what it is i'm right behind you i'll be 42 yeah. in october so oh, yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it does like i know that out the gate it takes a little bit longer um you know, I've been doing more hill walking and less lunging because my lower body was giving me some problems from all the crazy years of powerlifting. Like, shit has changed, but I still had crazy results. I mean, last summer I looked crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I just did the men's health thing. Like, there's still a lot of, like, room, but things mildly change. But it's still in the guidelines. It's still in the patterns. Like, they're still really close. It's just mildly different. But if you don't give yourself a chance to follow the base protocol to even uncover what yours is that. And that's yep. where I think people get so wiggly. What I don't understand is like, it's clearly my job, right? And people are paying for it. Then I'm always right. wondering like, why are you fucking changing it? I just never, that doesn't make any sense to me because every person I ever learned from Mario Di Pasquale, Dr. Serrano, Louis, Arl, anybody, any of these fucking hitters, I always did what they said first for a while. And then I was like, okay, now, but what if this, because this already has clearly worked to a certain point. That's the stuff that never really made sense to me and why I, I'm going to bring it up on every member cast for the next fucking, however long we do this, because I think it's a huge indicator. So I guess back to it, did you finally just say, all right, I'm just going to submit and do it all the way because I'm getting bullied on the app. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. I mean, I mean, <laughs> once you, once you're on, once I bought in, it was just like, this is, this is easy. And I had this type of mentality, somewhat like you, you just kind of, you're, you're psychotic with, you're in your zone, right? Like yep. no one can mess up your zone or your swim lane, whatever you want to call it. And that, that's it. Like, I'm not going to break my barrier down for anyone. And I'm just going to ride into that. Now, there were times where I got frustrated with the workouts because I read your workouts as, okay, so you had like eight sets of, uh, eight set superset. And it was like, say it was flat bench press. And um, uh, I'm trying to read my own handwriting. Maybe it was like a wide grip pull down I'm, pull I'm up, yeah, yeah. or whatever. But I would read it as not the 20, 20, 20, 15, 15, 15, 10, 10. I would have to, I literally did that. Eight times in a like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, why is this taking so long? I'm, I was so white by then the workout. And then I think I, I hit you up. I'm like, is this, am I, and you're like, no, that's my bad or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, cool, yeah. man. Now I know I can get back to like, like a little bit more time back. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, and it's harder to mess that up on the pump thirties. Cause I got to be real dialed in on that, which is, uh, yeah, yeah. that's funny. But that, that also comes with, um, you know, my schizophrenic programming, which I think, makes it as unique and why we get the type of results we do and it keeps it but also sometimes things kind of fall through the cracks because i mean one thing and it means something else and i wrote it one time the other way last time and that's that's part of my maniac mind um of programming but yeah that you've been along for the ride for some crazy ones for sure absolutely absolutely i need Talk to get a better about, job uh, of writing my I, stuff down again 
I, talk I about the to. confidence that's shown up like at Salesforce, like within this process, have you seen, or do you have any, you know, things you can share with us on how it's shown up like in life from that standpoint, Darren? Yeah. Um, I'm actually glad you brought that up. So prior to Salesforce, I was with a company you also probably heard of is uh, Vanguard. Um, mm -hmm. um, and just so you all know, like I, uh, I'm a, I'm a senior product designer, uh, which I design user interfaces. And so, that's cool. um, and so, uh, at Vanguard, I was bullied by my manager who didn't think much of me. And so that really hurt my confidence. And I wasn't really doing your workouts really then. And mm -hmm. so coming over to my new job, this was, you know, two years ago and kind of when I started <laughs> doing the contest, um, I, I saw my confidence rise, not just from working out, but it's just like, I'm becoming more confident in myself. And therefore my talking to people again, uh, was building high and, you know, being COVID being fully remote. Like I was before COVID, I was a, very much an extrovert for some reason with COVID I'm more introverted now because I'm always mm -hmm. working from home. Um, and so I, I typically thrive on talking to people and being around people. So not being around people all the time is, is a lot harder on myself. So, but no, I mean, I feel like I'm much better person today in my workplace and people love being around me because of my energy, you know? So, um, it's, it's like I, I go back to like I can't thank y'all enough for helping me become who I am. I know it's not just you all; it's also within me. But yeah, you know, you, you all play a big role in my life for sure. Part of it is though, Darren is like showing the path. I've shown it to a lot of people. That there's there is a lot of people that have taken it too, and then made it their own at points. But still, overall, the path has led them to hopefully a more confident successful, like in shape, healthy person, right. That has hopefully a more positive attitude in life and can accomplish way more things that way. Right. We can all find a million things that suck about everything. It's just the way it is. I just choose not to look at it that way. But the reality is I think that's the thing I get the most excited about is because I know what it's done for me, which is why I got addicted to it at so young is I know the way it made me feel. I know, um, I had a bunch of things I don't like about my life. Obviously I was able to take them by the horns and change them through this process. I'm really just trying to pass that on because the difference can be this clearly, like your energy is that people want to be around you. They want to help get you promoted. They want to have you on their team. You can add so much value. You're studying and educating yourself on a regular basis. You're making yourself, but like, then that also impacts your circle closely around you. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, it might start with a little weight loss, but this thing is so much bigger than that. It's just like hard to lead with that because people can't really see through the trees. I've had an ability to always see kind of what's next or potential, or that's just kind of like my gift of, I think, partly as an entrepreneur, but a lot of people can't see that stuff or they've never experienced it. So it's like, I'm just really trying to focus on now is taking down the wall of that. This guy is too crazy. It's too hard for me. I'm not going to be able to do it because if I can just get people in, in the process, and then they might not do all four pillars for a little while and then something, or they could watch this and then they're going to do all four pillars. And then we're going down this path to what I think is a, you know, once again, our new mantra kind of max Everett is results, lifestyle experience. And that's really what this comes down to, which what we're putting together. I couldn't wrap it up even more than in those three words. Cause that's really what it comes down to. You start to get results, whether that's mentally or physically, you start to lift, leave, lead a whole different lifestyle and live it. And then your experience level of what you're able to take part in in life changes. And so I think that that's like what you've kind of hit in all these areas, which is super cool, dude. And once again, like, um, you know, that's really why we do what we do, bro. hundred percent. So you need to put that on a t-shirt. Cool. We're going to, we're putting it on everything. You just ain't seen it yet. <laughs> it's, on the top of the, it's on the top of the bags. It's on everything, uh -huh, bro. Yeah. There's a whole right. gang of, we, Hey, we've been in the trenches over here, bro. It's right. coming. Uh, I mean, ask Tyler. I, I, I'm a, I'm a poster boy for max effort. <laughs> no, I know. I know. We, we, we're fully aware that you're, that you're, you're in bro, which is why we wanted to have you on here too. Oh, yeah. What could you, um, what advice could you offer to, you know, the Darren that wasn't doing, all four pillars that was just kind of, he's around, he knows there's something great here. He does the work I like, but to really make the true change, like you're talking debts, lower, more confident, killing it at work, weight loss. Like how do you go kind of like over the edge? Yeah. I mean, um, it's really simple. Trust the process. You know, um, like, like you always say, uh, 
we don't miss. And if you have that mentality of day by day, like it just gets easier over time. It and, does. It does get you easier know, over so, time. So, you, know, you think of it, if you think of it more, I, I kind of talked through this in my, my IG story today, where it's like, if you're thinking about it too broadly, I don't think you're going to set yourself up for success. Mm. If you think about it in just in, in the near term right now, you're living in it. That's all you need to do because tomorrow is going to be there. And if you're living in it right now, that's all you need, you know? So at least that's how I approached it is like, just take it a day at a time. And of course you're going to have your days where you're going to have self doubt and you won't see the scale move and whatever. I mean, trust me, it goes through my head all the time. Like, Oh, I'm up weight, but what did I eat over the weekend? Did I go <laughs> too hard on my cheats? You know? And that's yeah. something I'm trying to, me uh, ask Cole, I ask him all the time, like, dude, you look awesome. What are you doing? And like, um, I just went out and bought some of those ice cream sandwiches. That's what I'm going to try. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, well, and I think also what's starting to happen through the mini cash, which is the best, you know, uh, podcast on the app, well, it was the only podcast on the app currently besides this one now, but it's like, I think having different body types has been helpful. Like Cole sharing his story of his yeah. expedition on the way down <laughs> And, you know, Danny, uh, does trains different than how we train at the gym. Right. And so like him sharing his stuff. And I think that that's been good for people. Once again, it's like all within the same like guideline areas, but it, but it's different. Um, and I, what I'm trying to do is it's, it's also kind of removing me a little bit from the process and being able to hear from more others, which I think has been helpful for everybody. So, but yeah, I think trust the process. Here's what I, I want people to really understand is it's going to work. It's just a fact, whether you're patient enough to allow it to everybody's metabol uh, metabolic rate starts at a different spot. Everybody's fitness levels at a different spot. Everybody's cravings and understanding and education around the, this lifestyle. It starts at a different spot. You just have to be patient enough to allow it to happen. I had one message a long time ago where a guy said, when I start cutting, he loves watching my weights. He'll see it. Cause sometimes my shit will stick for two or three weeks. Then all of a sudden, bang, I'm 180 again, looking crazy. Like, because I just know it's going to work. I just don't know when. But if I just stay committed to the process, it's inevitable. So, you know what I mean? That And that's, I know that because I've been doing this for a long time. But other people knowing that, it's that's, that's hard for them. But the, if they understand that, and there is things you will tweak if it really, truly isn't working. But a lot of times it's your body just seeing, hey, do they want it? Are they going to cheat? Am I going to see, you know, it's like, it's almost like resistant, you know? So it's, it's tricky, but that, that's one key, I think. Something that I did during the contest that shout out Dalton uh, told me about, um, it's one, it's, it's on one of your knowledge bombs about fat loading. And so mm. I was in the plateau and I'm like, well, how, do, how do I get out of this plateau? And so I just started doing the fat, like, I followed your fat loading video mm -hmm. and that, it, that's what kicked me out of the plateau. And I did that for, the last, I want to say the last three weeks of the contest minus peak week that I didn't yep. do it. I didn't want to blow myself up too much with all that sodium. So, um, but yeah, I mean. Uh, Fat loading is an interesting concept because what you're really doing is you're able to increase your calories so you do feel better, right? Like, because that's what it is. Your calories are a little low. You need a little bit more food. But then your body's at such a kind of intricate part where if your metabolism isn't crazy fast or you're really not crazy shredded already, like it's going to stall if you eat too many carbs. So it's like, you're getting like more calories, but you're not getting that same effect. So then it can actually get you through the plateau, which makes you feel better. And that came from, you know, Dr. Serrano, like whenever I was doing stuff back in the day and just utilizing, you know, a higher calorie to make your body feel better, but not have that downside of that is really, it's an interesting strategy. And that's a little bit more of a complex, basic, but complex like thing that's on the app. But once again, that was a resource you're able to tap into just because of years of doing this. Um, and just honestly, where I get proud of is having a member that is not their job, understand what fat, like intentionally fat loading. Like do you, that is like, to me, that's like where the education part comes from there and that I get proud of because people were learning, you know, from the vacation rules to the different fasting to the busy, like you're having all of these tools to make sure that this works long term um, as a lifestyle. That is massive what people could understand by, you know, being involved in this thing for sure. It's pretty cool. Totally. Totally. And it's cool to see your, how, how things have evolved through anabolic fasting with the busy diet and stuff like that. And 
again, now you mentioned the bag of vegetables yesterday. I was like, oh, sweet. Now I can, because I was contemplating, like, can I do that? Like, cause you, again, yeah. being someone in my seat, you want to listen to what you say, because we look at you at this, at this high level, at least I do. And I'm like, I want to just follow what G is saying. And mm-hmm. so I don't want to break any rules. And so I don't want to mess up. And so th- that's where it comes. I'm like, so when you well, said that, I'm like, sweet, maybe I can try that. Yeah. The other thing is, so I'm also trying to be mindful of like, what could we really sustain? You know, if you come in this thing, and that's why I asked Cole that question on the mini cast, you know, if you started this at two thirty, probably too fucking like your body's probably like fuck off. Meaning like it's your was two sixty, and you're like, I'm going busy diet, only vegetables. Probably just not going to survive. There's just not a food. You know what yeah. I mean? There's an evolution to stomach feels like it's shrunk down. Fasting's working. You're not as hungry. You're more efficient. If you are too, you you'll know maybe I need a little bit more fat. Like you start to like police it. Early on, like, it's like, you got to know what somebody can like actually do for 21 days. And I just know that somebody's going to eat only kale and then they're only, you know what I'm saying? Like, I already know I've seen it all at this point. So I was like, I know they can't fuck up sweet potato. It's one option. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) And it's still way better than what they're eating now. So it's going to change their body. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So there was parts about that, that strategy of understanding what I know people will turn it into. (laughs) real quick you can eat a garbage bag full of that kale and you're still gonna be hungry so yeah. it's like you know what i mean so anyway that's but i think once again i'm trying to give as many options for people to be successful long term and um and whatnot so i, pre- I appreciate it. this is a great dialogue for i think a new member or even just a member that needs reminded you know yeah i mean the sweet potato is great um you don't just have to eat it roasted i would always i would i would take off the skin and then i would chop it up that's like French fries and put an air fryer and Hell yeah. it, it was awesome. Like that was like, it felt like a cheat, you know what I mean? So it was good. Um, Talk to me. Um, is there any questions that you want to ask me that I can help you with um, where you're at currently and any of the stuff? Yeah. So during the contest um, I wanted to be super strategic and strict and I didn't do any cheats. I just strictly did bananas uh, and mm-hmm. peanut butter. And I would weigh out my peanut butter. I know you say don't weigh, but I wanted to be conscious of because you can get deep in that peanut butter rabbit hole and like eat too yeah. much. Um, so I weigh out just a serving of peanut butter, and then it was fine. But toward the end of that contest, I was like, man, I need something bad. Um, and so I would get like just to kind of like trick my mind a little bit. I got like the Lily's uh, sugar-free chocolate chips, and I would what I would do is if you ever tried it, I would air fry a banana with the skin okay. on with some cinnamon, and then put the chocolate chips on top and they would melt into the into the banana with some peanut butter killer wow Um, but my question to you is i'm kind of back in this mindset of like okay i really want to keep cutting because i i don't body dysmorphia is unfortunately a thing in my in my life and so um i want to get down to looking shredded just like the the next person on this app does and so i'm i'm there like i'm not there but I'm, i'm getting there and i'm okay with that um but kind of like what Cole's doing, he doesn't really, he, he may drink. I'm not a huge drinker. I enjoy a glass of bourbon from time to time, but not like, mm-hmm. I'd rather eat my calories. And so sure. I guess my question is, would you say skip the bigger cheats and just do sugar cheats? And would you pick one day, would you do two days, or maybe just test that? Would you do, maybe try one day and then see what, you know, week to week. That's why I get yeah. caught up is like, I can go big on my cheats or be real strategic and try to get lower with not, diving to down. Yeah. I think the, the answer is, yeah. Stay away from the bread cheats at all costs. Any of the random all carbs, pastas, any of that, just stay clear of it. I'd go to cheats with the sugar and then yeah, occasionally alcohol, non beer though. I think to your point, I honestly think I found last summer when I was in crazy shape, which I'm heading back that direction now is, um, I was strictly bourbon. Like I would have it. I love like Guinness and all that. Obviously everybody knows that about me, but, um, I think it was, it was more strategic, uh, cause it's the contents, no yeast, you know what I mean? Like it's just different. Cause it's more obviously like bourbon's like more sugary. Right. Yeah. So it was like, um, the bourbon and ice cream and that honestly, like, I don't know for me, if I can't get like, I'm getting my drink on and eating a massive bowl of ice cream with peanut butter on it. Like if that ain't enough, then I got fucking problems. Like, I don't know. Like, 
there was an occasional time that I would have some like fried food as like an appetizer or something like that on a Friday with my wife, maybe some fried pickles or something like that, but I wouldn't even notice any of that. But, you know, I think that if you can do one, I think it's a win to another level, like meaning if it's Friday or Saturday, or it just depends on what you got going on with your family. You ain't got nothing going on Friday. Don't do it just to do it. If you don't need to. Yeah. Yeah. Worry about getting up and training and lunging on Saturday. And then if you have Saturday because you got a family event or something going on, cool. So I, I, I noticed myself doing a lot more of that last year until I got down. Like when I was like, I was going between like 78, like 82. I almost needed it. Yeah. Because I was so lean, honestly. But the reality is I would look at it week to week. I still think that the lifestyle strategy is to have something. I just don't know if we're meant to have no break because I'll tell you, Darren, in the past, a lot of the stuff that's all over here and all the shit I did, I would have no break for months and it'll about drive you crazy. It's just what it is. And you can yeah. still get amazing results with having some, it, yes. it's just moderate it, and it's still not even moderation. It's still crazy. You're talking about 90%, 96% of the time you're doing what you're supposed to do. I mean, it's like, you know what I mean? So I think that it's one of those things like you do just enough per week, which you think you need to do to feel like you're good. Because if you're to next Wednesday and all you do is dreaming about brownies, you're fucked. You know what I mean? Like, and it changes from week to week. It really oh, yeah. does. So I think being in tune with your body, the strategy of what's going to get you to that next uh, kind of level. And I know this because I've been the same way where I've had zero, cra like I'll be honest on the vegetables, I got no cravings. And I think it's because I just haven't eaten this many vegetables in a while because I haven't eaten sweet potatoes for like a year. And so it's actually been a strategy back the other way. I'm actually less hungry on this. I think my body started getting used to the sweet potatoes. So I think that, you know, uh, but yeah, I would say I was looking for reasons not to cheat. But if I would do one, at least kind of got me to the next level. So sure, I think sure. I think that's I think that's probably the answer. Yeah, my my, my strategy sometimes is because I I always know every Saturday I lunge a mile, um, yep. and so I, I want to yep. make sure I'm fueled awesome. for that. And you're going to need it on that day, by the way. Yeah. So I, sometimes I'm like, do I need to eat more Friday night? You know what I mean? To be fueled for that Saturday, and then Saturday, True. you know, eat whatever I need to that day too. But um, you could also go on exactly each week could be. Week to week too. Yeah. Friday, you could get and be smoked and be like, I got to have something extra because I know I'm lunging that mile tomorrow. Or you're like, I'm good. And then you're like, I got to have it on Saturday because I just lunged a fucking mile. So honestly, you could literally just roll week to week on just how it feels. You know what I mean? And just kind of go with it from that. So I think that's the answer on that. Any other questions I can help you with? Um, don't kill me for asking, but I'm curious. For transparency's sake... Obviously, in the moment when I saw the results for top 50, I was mm -hmm. a little crushed because I really wanted that. Like I, I had it on my, in my, uh, my I1Abs 2024 notebook. For sure. Right? So it was part of my goals. And so um, for someone like myself who loves what you guys put out for content, loves the workouts, loves the pillars, like, is there a way that we can know as a member, like what, what things we maybe missed on or you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure how to word it correctly, but, uh, and I know well, I, I, I watched your PSA that you had last year and yeah. I know I won already. Cause I mean, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I know I won yeah, yeah. a lot of things. You know what I mean? I just, uh, well, the I'm problem really is it's not like a bodybuilding show, right? Sure. And so there's so much that goes into it that, and everybody's so much different body type starting to ending points. So different. That's kind of the issue with it is it so subjective and it's, and it's so different for everybody. It's probably honestly one of the hardest things we do because everybody has already had such a great process. And then once it gets to about 50, it's tough because you're trying to take all of these things into account, all the things that they're writing, the, obviously the look. And so it's not really one thing you didn't do or one thing someone else did do. It's more sure. like the cumulative here's everything and everybody. And it's like, we literally go through and go, you know, it's like this process of elimination that takes like a really long time. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's not really a defined answer other than I always just tell people, literally you give everything you got in that time frame, 
and so does everyone else. And then we literally try to do it as subjective as possible, if that's the word, right? Subjective as possible to say, all right, here's people's body of work. And so I always say this too, everyone that gets second thinks they should have got first, right? <laughs> I've been that same dude. Everybody yeah, that got yeah. fourth on stage should have got third. It kind of comes with it. So I think it's something you should be asking, but there's no way I could be like, you didn't do this, so you didn't get that. It's not really what it is. And I can't tell you if you lost 10 more pounds or two more pounds, if that would have changed it. I think sure. it comes down to body work. And the other thing is that you should rest on is that you're not done yet, dude, right? Because you nope. just said it. So the reality is your next transformation seriously might be greater than the one that you already put on paper. Well, so, every year since last year has been. There you been, go. So yeah. the progress is there. And a lot of these guys that have uh, posted top 10, 20, they've been doing it for a couple of years. They've had a couple stabs at it. They've added and subtracted some stuff. And so I think that you're kind of just part along that process. So I'd be super happy with your um, body of work. And you were one of my top people I wanted to talk to on this because I thought you could offer a lot to the community um, that are paying attention and will listen to this because of like, you know, your process so far. So you should be super proud of it. I mean, Darren, look at it like this, bro. Wasn't that long ago. Use 320. Now you're sitting here at three at 230-ish talking yeah. to me uh in the in the first 10 episodes of what we're doing to focus on people like you should be proud of that bro like it's it's cool it's a big accomplishment g and i appreciate guys having me yeah, on like, of course definitely uh one of the bucket list and then next bucket list is to come out to uh you know uh muscle island and have a good old time you know so old school baby yeah for sure dude that's i mean that's that's what it's going to be uh exciting about the next evolution of what we're building too so people can start to take part in that you know what i mean um, anything from the, you mentioned it earlier, like as you were talking about the debt stuff, anything business wise that you got questions on? I feel like you've been thinking about a lot of that type of stuff as you've been working. I on feel this like thing. that is like a conversation that we need to have offline. So you can, okay. like, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No problem. Um, yeah. I mean, I think for me, it's just like, you know, I need to do a better job for myself for like learning about investing. You know, I have some, but I, I just don't understand the concepts really. And so, yeah. Listen, I just need to rewatch some of your material and that's and take more notes and guide more in that. And and then I think like I would love that uh, uh, that financial seminar yeah. if you all were to have it. I would totally go to that. Like, 100%. I think there's a lot of people that maybe some of the basic things that we now understand as a group still need to be re explained, re taught. Some of them are like pretty because I'm definitely not the sharpest dude out here, but like I've got onto some of those like basic concepts and just 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 like our fitness have consistently done the same things with that. And then now seeing what's that body of work look like. And I'll tell you, it does make you feel different, right? From the standpoint of like, you know, not as much debt, dividends working in your favor, equities, all these type of things. So yeah, no problem. And then yeah, if you have any specific things I can answer, I will for, for sure. So, awesome. Awesome. Um, anything else you want to share with the community before we get out of here, Darren? Uh, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Mm. <laughs> Dude, I'm so fucking boring. My wife tells me this all the time. And my youngest kid's the same way. It's either we go to Wits, which is our like. We have know, a Wits here thing. too. Okay. It's, yeah. I just either, well, I get a Witzer. So okay. that's like a, their Blizzard, which I get okay. the um, Buckeye Madness, which is basically vanilla with, you know, Reese cups. Yeah. But the reality is I either eat chocolate or vanilla ice cream. I don't do anything okay. that I'm pretty boring when it comes to that. Have you ever had their Witties before? Witties? Huh. Yeah, they're, they're 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 cookies. It's the cookie like the sandwich cookie. Oh yeah, yeah, the big sandwich one. Yes, I've had one of those before. I didn't know what it was yeah. called, but yes, a hundred percent, I've eaten one of those. I I've done like meats or shows and ate those things right after. Yes, many times. Oh hell yeah! You all the handles good. near you too, right? So, what is it? Handles ice cream. I, I don't think I've ever had that. Ohio based. Yeah, Maybe. no, I don't think I've had that. Wits and uh, there's um another one locally that's real well known too, but Wits has been the jam and. Other than that, I'm just like a straight, like literally chocolate ice cream dude. So okay. pretty, pretty simplistic. Um, dude, congrats. Thanks for joining us today. Um, excited to watch us back. You know, Danny yeah. gets a lot of these things transcribed, so we'll get some sound bites from it. And uh, man, just keep pushing and just appreciate the support, Darren. Of course, always. And I'm a lifer, so. <laughs> yeah, thanks, homie. Good work right, today, dude. kid. All right. Have a good one. Later. See ya.